Hello everyone and welcome to Canadian Destroyer Promotions. Oh my goodness, this is the debut episode on the VGW channel. We've got some incredible fights for you here tonight. Yes, I, yes I'm another clone of the commentator here for CDP. Let's enjoy this. First up, we've got Fred Creature Lane taking on Magnum Joseph Mann. Oh, here we go. So we're getting old versus new here. As Fred Creature Lane makes his way down to the ring. Fred Creature Lane. Been around in wrestling since the days of terrific Texas wrestling. He may be long in the tooth, but he is... I've seen some of the stuff that he's been, been through. You know, you could throw the bloody kitchen sink at him. And of course, he's got his finishing maneuver, the you know poison mist into a into a punt kick that absolutely will you know you get blinded. You're trying to like figure out where you're at, and then you get kicked so hard in the head you're out cold. Making his way to the ring now, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how he does in this encounter. Oh, red lane. You know, still a crowd favourite over here in Canadian Destroyer promotions. You often see, you know, it's often the legends that get a lot of people into the sport. You know, their parents who used to watch the likes of Fred Lane or David Agan, they'll enjoy that, they'll receive that, they'll, they'll watch again and they'll see those legends and they'll introduce their children to the wrestling who will then go on to be enamoured with the likes of Joseph Mann and the cycle continues. So while the parents in the audience are there for Fred Lane, the younger members of the audience will be here for Magnum Joseph Mann. Joseph Mann making way down to the ring. Now I mentioned about you know finishing matches off with a kick. It doesn't get much more devastating than the super kick from Joseph Mann. Joseph Mann has one of the more devastating super kicks that's ever been seen. Last we saw of Joseph Mann, he was over at VGRW Finale in 2K19. But now, you know, he is over here for us here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions. And he's over to make one hell of an impact. Here we go. The bell is run, the match begins. Oh, look at this. Spatching away at Fred Lane. Fred Lane falls to a knee. Nice headbutt there. And he's taken Fred Lane down. That's very good on the part of Joseph, who's now going for a senton. Now, Fred Lane, you know, he's slower. He's going to have to use that power and that toughness to deal with Joseph Mann. Meanwhile, Joseph Mann is going to want to just keep going hard, keep going fast. He's got to work down. He's got to whittle down the legend. Oh! And bloody hell, right now, Fred Lane's not gotten a look in. Oh, big chest chops from Joseph Mann and a DDT. Nice work right there. Oh my, Fred Lane is getting absolutely battered. Oh, and off the ropes there. Joseph, man, the crowd can't believe it. I don't think any of them expected it to be this one-sided. Just repeated sentons onto Fred Lane. Oh, and again, wait a minute, Fred Lane now, getting some return now. That slap absolutely bewildered Joseph. And now Fred Lane gets a chance to have a go. Boom! With that falling headbutt. It goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, and a two count there. Man, that match ended, nearly ended in a heartbeat there. But Joseph, he's not about to be taken out that quickly. Oh, here we go with a shoulder claw. Now look at... Just trying to wear... Oh, but that wasn't even close. 
It ain't the 70s anymore. Joseph Mann ain't gonna go out that easily. Oh, but Joseph Mann got a little lost in his own hype there. Oh, and now he is deeply paying the price. Irish whip up and over the ropes. Oh. Look at this, just choking out Joseph Mann right now. And right now the count begins, the referee keeping an eye to see how this turns out. Oh, smacking the taste out of his mouth. And now, look at this, face first into the subtle of our ring. Oh man, we put we paid good money for those LEDs and they're defunct. They're not, they don't bloody work. Oh dear. Look at that. Look at the state of that. Oh, look at that. Fred Lane there. Oh, saw an opportunity and dropped all that weight down. Now we might not be able to see Joseph's super kicks in in action. That was very methodical. Oh, but wait a minute. Joseph showing those legs still work fine. Oh, and taking Fred Lane to the outside now. Joseph's got to keep on Fred Lane, whittling him down. Being Fred Lane may not be the biggest accomplishment here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions, but with a legend like that, that's still going to get your name on the map. Oh, nice drop kick there from Joseph. Wilson didn't get all of it, but that wasn't the intention. He saw that Fred Lane was coming with that clothesline. He managed to jump over it and catch Fred Lane. He saw that Fred there trying to get a breather. I don't think he was quite ready for Joseph here. Oh, my God. Joseph has absolutely been outpacing Fred Lane throughout this match. Working on him destroying the leg there and uh, going for the pin one two and a kick out at two. Oh, look at this oh super kick and he's not done with Fred Lane he can end the match right here but look at this look at to send a message there Oh my goodness. Now bringing Fred Lane back up. Oh, Fred! Fred is bouncing back, trying to get a second win here. Oh! Trying to wind up to knock him clean out, but it didn't work. And now grabbing Joseph Mann. Face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, look at those strikes. And Joseph Mann can't go anywhere. Oh! Oh, God! Right on the face! Oh my word. Look at this. Driving the arm down to Joseph Mann. Joseph Mann now getting back to his feet. And look at that into the corner. Stomping away. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. That's just rubbing salt in the wound right there. And now goes for the pin. But Fred gets his foot under the rope. And you can almost tell that Fred's got a smirk on his face. Knowing that he got the oak. Oh, that he got one on the newbie. Oh my goodness. Nice sent on there from the top row. Joseph Mann is in control. Oh, I think he was going to go for another super kick there to finish things off. But unfortunately, Fred Lane dodged it. Oh, and now it's about to be over. Oh, in the eyes with the poison mist. And that punt kick. Out in the center of the ring. Welcome to Canadian Destroyer Promotions. Oh my God, a kick out at two. I can't believe it. Oh, driving the leg down, in, down that knee down into the face. And Joseph Mann, who's been blinking the poison mist out of his eyes now. He is, he is back in this. Look at him, he is an even more determined to win than ever. Oh, wow. Amazing work there. Oh my word, this is incredible. Oh. oh my god. Oh, the chest chops back and forth. And now Irish whip into the corner. Oh, look at this. Oh, and again. Oh, good work right there. Oh, look at this, it's going to happen. Here we go, here we go. 
Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that is it! That is it! That'll knock your teeth down your throat! Joseph Mann wins his debut match here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions! What a victory for him there! Coming out, making a name for himself here by laying out a legend. Oh, that's a great camera angle right there. But, and I think we all saw what happened. We all saw the amazing strike there from Joseph Mann. Boom! Just like that. My God, Joseph Mann in he has made a name for himself here in his first showing here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions. I wonder if he'll be able to keep up this momentum because if he fought Fred Lane with stuff, it only gets worse from here. Speaking of which, we've got three amazing wrestlers here today in a triple threat hardcore match. we got Rainbow Dragon, Caleb Adler and Hotshot Hugh Hughes. Oh man, so of course with a triple threat match like this, you don't even have to be involved with the decision to, you know, for the match to not go your way. Here we go. Coming out first, we get to see, probably in my opinion, the most suited to this match type, Caleb Adler coming down to the ring. Now we've seen what he can do. He is absolutely willing to go to blows, kendo sticks, you know, just deathmatch style wrestling. He may be, no, he may not be an Isaac Kinley, but I've seen Caleb fully willing to throw himself, you know, into danger. That combined with his high flying ability makes him just an incredible combination. Rainbow Dragon might be a more uh, what's the word? Elegant high flyer, but compared to Caleb Adler, like I just think that Caleb Adler is better suited to this environment. But of course, we've got three different styles here, so I think it's going to be very interesting to see how they clash here today. My, ah, oh, this is what gets me excited about professional wrestling. This should be good. Oh, here we go. Here comes the next person of the match. It's Rainbow Dragon. Now, I was mentioning about the key differences between him and Caleb Adler. Rainbow Dragon, while he may not be a big hardcore wrestler like Caleb Adler's shaping up to be, but Rainbow Dragon. He can go through the air so gracefully. This could make him very difficult to pin down. Rainbow Dragon, you know, we're seeing a lot of younger wrestlers in this match. You know, we've gone from it being 50-50, you know, the younger Joseph Man with the older Fred Lane. But this is just younger talents looking to make a name for themselves here in the world of professional wrestling. And Rainbow Dragon here could be a favorite for a few people here. Whoa, the dragon breathing fire. Now, obviously, I don't think we're going to be seeing any flaming weapons here tonight. Now, I don't think there's any lighter fluid in the arena, so... Look at that. Or at least not anywhere near the wrestlers. Don't worry, we got a bucket. <laughs> oh, dear. We don't want another incident. Now, comes down the third man of the match. And I've got to say, one of the faster rising prospects here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions, it's Hotshot Hugh Hughes. Now you might have seen him make a brief appearance over on VGIW. He has been preparing himself. Full disclosure, he will likely be appearing on VGIW again in the near future. We don't have an exact date. But Hugh Hughes looking to make one last great impact here at Canadian Destroyer Promotions before he makes that departure. So a match, a win here would look very good for him. You've got to think, like, he has got to be one of the, because of that appearance, he's got to be one of the bigger names here at Canadian Destroyer Promotions now. He's had a taste of the big time. 
And although it was only a taste, I don't wonder what will happen if he ever gets back in the ring with the Reaper. A lot of bad blood there, I've got to assume. Anyway, here we go. We've got our three participants in this hardcore match. This should be good. There's Caleb Adler. There's Rainbow Dragon. And there's Hotshot Hugh Hughes. Bells run. Match begins. Here we go. Oh, Caleb rolls out of the way. And now. Oh, man. Caleb. Oh, God. Oh, he miscalculated that one. Oh, and in the face now with a kick from Rainbow Dragon punishing him for that mistake. DDT right there. Meanwhile, Hugh Hughes almost moth knocking Rainbow Dragon there. Taunting him. Oh, my goodness. Rainbow Dragon's having a bad time at the moment. Caleb Adler, meanwhile, trying to take on everyone in this match. Oh, God. Hughes just trying to get Caleb out of the way so he can focus on Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Dragon's like, all right, get, let's get Hugh out of there. And look at this. Oh, my God. I don't think Caleb expected that speed from Rainbow Dragon. When the dragon soars, it is so difficult to be able to match him. But, oh, Caleb, who had been in the ring with Rainbow Dragon once before, is starting to get a little bit more aware. Oh, man. You know, those two are probably our best high flyers here in the promotion. Caleb Adler and Rainbow Dragon. I have a feeling... Oh, God. Oh, no, Rainbow Dragon managed to sandbag it. He managed to completely just fumble his way out of that, letting Caleb crash to the ground. That was very difficult. That's very difficult to do, but Rainbow Dragon as well. Got to be getting used to the offense of Caleb Adler. These two men right here just going to blows here. Oh, Hugh, though. You, meanwhile, oh, brings a very different offense here. You know, he's easily the strongest of the three. Oh, look at this. Goes for a neck breaker. And he's going to be able to throw them around so easily. Oh, look at this. Going to go for a pin. Trying to win this one quickly here. But, of course, Caleb is not about to just drop like that. Caleb's been through a lot of trials and tribulations. You know, he's, he, his career might be still fairly fresh, but he's been through a lot of trial and tribulations through his life. He is absolutely not about to just back out like that. Now you see Hugh Hughes getting Rainbow Dragon, but Rainbow Dragon rising back up. Oh, and you can see here, Hugh Hughes. Oh, man. Because Canadian Destroyer Promotions is in a working relationship with VGRW, while we have Hugh Hughes actually, well, oh, sorry, while we have Joseph Mann actually signed to a VGI, to a Canadian Destroyer Promotions contract, we will occasionally see VGRW wrestlers make cameo appearances, make an appearance for a one-off match. That won't be happening tonight. Everyone you see here right now is currently signed to a Canadian Destroyer Promotions contract, but it should be a lot of fun regardless. Oh, look at this, Kendo Stick. That is Caleb's weapon of choice. Oh, Rainbow Dragon misfires. Oh, right across the face. And again. Oh, Caleb throwing Rainbow Dragon, just trying to avoid that kendo stick. Rainbow Dragon has been on the wrong end of Caleb Adler with that kendo before. Oh, but look at that. Managing to disarm Caleb Adler there. Rainbow Dragon. Oh, God. Smack run in the gut with that soul butt. Now, Caleb Adler going up to the middle rope here. Oh, look at this. Oh, perfect work there. Getting for that DDT. Oh, and a double stomp there. And now Caleb Adler going to try and deal with Hugh Hughes. But, oh, God. You are not going to be able to outmuscle Hugh in this situation. Hugh, one of the best athletes we have here, just in terms of strength. Oh, look at that. Rainbow Dragon actually trying to, trying to just get in the head of Hugh here. Oh, trying to show he didn't... That, that, Hugh doesn't bother him, but Hugh, oh god, bashing the back of the head into the turnbuckles is going to give Rainbow Dragon a reason to be bothered. Caleb says, my turn now, come at me, and Hugh is more than willing to oblige. Look at this, the way he's just decimating the competition. Oh, look at this, deadlifting Caleb Adler, he's going to slam him down, boom, just like that. My god. And now, oh, look at this, look at this. 
DDT! Caleb Adler going to use that speed, that agility to his advantage. Rainbow Dragon. Oh, looks like he's going to indulge in some hardcore action. Here we go. He's got a steel chair. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. It's been this. He's been. It's been taken off of him. Oh, Caleb Adler. After a humiliating Rainbow Dragon, just taking him to the side. Oh. Caleb there managing to dodge Rainbow Dragon's offense. Now the point of runner, I, I could tell Caleb was aiming for the chair, didn't quite get it, but still the impact will definitely have hurt. Rainbow Dragon has been able to get up though, you've got to wonder, would, I don't think Rainbow Dragon would have been able to get up had it hit, hit the chair. So Rainbow Dragon's a weak can, his lucky stars. Meanwhile, Hugh, not so lucky, has been busted open. Oh, look at this. Nice work there by Rainbow Dragon. And now racing over to Hugh, a little worse for wear now that he's bleeding. And a DDT certainly isn't going to help. Oh, look at this! Oh! What a springboard moonsault! Absolutely amazing! And a Hurricane Rana there to Caleb Adler. DDT! And now goes for the pin here. One. Only a one count. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Wait a minute. Oh, jumping to the outside. Rainbow Dragon's looking for another weapon to add to the mix. He's got, what is that? He's got a shovel. He's going to bury Hugh. Oh, my God. Oh, but Hugh not about to let that happen. Oh, my God. He already got buried on, on TV. And VG oh, Rainbow Dragon been busted open. That kick has is almost a guaranteed knockout. Rainbow Dragon is out like a light. But Caleb Adler now going to take advantage of that by pinning Hugh. Rainbow Dragon still recovering. One, only a one count. Hugh kicks out so easily. And he's back on his feet already. Caleb, DDT. What a great move there. And now looking to deal with Rainbow Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Into the shovel. Oh, my God. Oh my god, into the shovel! And now driving into the back of the head! The Rainbow Dragon! Oh my god! Hurricane Rana! No way! No way he's not doing this! Two! Three! I can't believe it! That's not... That doesn't make any sense! Rainbow Dragon got driven into the shovel! He had the shovel slammed into his head, yet he comes back and gets a shock victory! That is unbelievable. Oh my god. Either way, a great show from all three wrestlers here today. Oh man. Caleb Adler actually came out probably the most unscathed in terms of just damage. He was the only one not busted open. Hugh Hughes, you know, didn't get involved in the final decision. Rainbow Dragon, who did get pretty badly busted up there at the end actually did manage to pull away with the victory. And you can tell that he is exhausted. I think the damage of what just happened there has finally caught up with him. But coming out with the W is very important here as he looks to rise up the ladder. Moving on to our third and final match of the evening, it's Masashi Watanabe versus Scorpion Diablo. This should be good. We got these are two of our top athletes here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions. We've got Masashi Watanabe. You know his history in professional wrestling. One of the best wrestler. You know he wrestles over in Japan in Kitsune Kingdom, but you know makes occasional appearances here over in Canadian Destroyer Promotions and has made a name for himself over in both. He's had iconic clashes with the likes of Katsuyori Machida, the likes of Don Lee, the likes of Tsunami Frank. You know, he has encountered the likes of the Nightmare, you know, as he tours across Asia. You know, he's had clashes with them all. He's even had, inc you know, he's had incredible matches with some of the best of all time, in my opinion. And in my opinion, he is one of the best of all time. But he's up against one of the mightiest foes here, 
who is a pure Canadian Destroyer Promotions talent. Here comes the Scorpion Diablo. The Devil Scorpion is here. Oh man, and this, this could get very vicious. I've seen what this man can do. Canadian Destroyer Promotion fans in the audience know what he's capable of. Started off wrestling in Mexico. Scorpion Diablo, one of the things he wants to do is bring back the prominence of the mask. He says that there's too many people who are undeserving of their mask, who treat it like an accessory, who treat it without the respect it deserves. Now, I'm not here to say whether I agree or disagree, but I've seen the ways the Scorpion Diablo asserts his dominance on the competition, and it is not pretty. Safe to say that while Masashi may not be may not be his person who comes down with a mask, he's going to have to be damn careful heading into this one, because Masashi Watanabe is going to be in one of the toughest matches here. He is up against one of the top wrestlers. Now, the winner of this match, you know, will will be qualified for a Canadian Destroyer Promotions Men's Championship match. So, you got that to look forward to in a future episode. He is absolutely, this is two incredible athletes here, ready to get going. Here we go. The bell is rung, the match begins. Oh, and immediately some clubbing blows. Oh, taking down Masachi Watanabe. And right away, we're seeing Scorpion Diablo show his ability. Springboarding immediately clubs to the top rope. And look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And immediately looks to end the match here. But managing to get his foot under the rope, the referee cannot count the free count. So, Scorpion Diablo says, if that's how you want to... If that's how you want it, then I'm more than willing to give you more abuse. But Masashi now looks to try and rebound here. Now that he saved himself in the match. You can see, oh, look at that though. Nice dodge there by Scorpion Diablo. Irish whip against the ropes. Oh my goodness. Masashi Watanabe being taken up to his feet here. Looking to try and bounce back here. Trying to fight back. Look at those clubbing blows. He may be older than the likes of a Scorpion Diablo. But Masashi Watanabe has the history of many classic matches. I remember watching the tapes back in the day where I would see Herman make a tour in Japan and those two clashing in the ring. That was one of the, you know, that was the kind of thing that got me into professional wrestling. Seeing those two clash in the ring. And Masashi Watanabe, despite his age, he is absolutely still able to go in a major way. In fact, he's always made sure to adapt himself to continue to be bigger and better every single time he shows up, every year. He does things I would not expect to someone. While others slow down, he only seems to get better in the ring. And right now, look at the way that he is decimating a Scorpion Diablo. Oh, look at this. Getting up to the top rope here. And a big splash there. Going for the pin now. One, two, no. Good God. Now for a Scorpion Diablo, you know, I've seen him. Oh God, oh man. I've seen him rip the masks off of lesser wrestlers, at least in his eyes, lesser wrestlers. And it, just the way he does it, he does. He show, shows his disdain with the way that he does it. Oh God, I've seen people fracture ribs when he does it. Trust me, if he does it in here in Canadian Destroyer Promotions, which he's been told he cannot do, but if he does it, you will know exactly what I mean. 
But right now, Masashi Watanabe is doing a very good job at wrangling the Scorpion. Look at this. Oh, nice work right there. And now, calling for Scorpion to get to his feet here. He's going to pull him up here. He's not within a weight. Look at that rib breaker. And look at this, just keeping on scoping Diablo, essentially suffocating him so he can't get that offense in. But now go for the pin here. One, two, and a two count. You're not beating a Scorpion Diablo that easily. Oh, once again, racing up to the top row. And boom, with the sent on. And again, oh my god, oh! Bloody hell, Masashi Watanabe, he is racing, but Scorpion Diablo is back on his feet. Oh! Driving the knee down. And now look at this, going for the legs of Masashi Watanabe here. And look at the pressure he's putting on the knees, trying to slow Masashi down. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh! That is incredible. The way he's able to move with such little momentum here. Two. You saw the hesitation on the referee there. Making sure that Masashi's legs weren't under the ropes. That might have ended up being a free count for the Scorpion. Oh my goodness. The callousness of a Scorpion Diablo. With the way that he can just throw opponents around. Big frog splash there. And he's going for a pin again. Viva la raza. Here we go. Oh. It's only a two-can. You can tell Scorpion's getting puzzled that he can't put this away. Oh, no. God, but Masashi Watanabe back on his feet. Masashi now going for the Irish whip into the corner. Oh, nice kick there to the face. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. That's incredible. That's incredible. Two. No, only a two-count. And now Masashi is the one who gets to be shocked. But this is what happens when you get to be in the upper echelons. It can take a damn bullet to take someone out. And now dragging Scorpion Diablo. Looking to try and finish him off, I have to imagine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Up, managed to roll him up. Driving him down. Going for the pin. One, two. Free Masashi Watanabe emerges victorious. My God, Masashi Watanabe managing to stand tall in what was a very hard fought fight. It's Scorpion Diablo though, really didn't get to get much out of the gate. Oh, that was incredible work right there. Masashi Watanabe standing tall, standing victorious here in this one. Congratulations and thank you to everyone for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the notification bell for more videos. You've got VGRW and GHK as well. And soon, a new TTW tape will emerge. Thank you all and we'll see you next time.